Today I'm going to talk about the challenges that the bank and the financial institution CEOs face in leading the digital transformation of their organizations and how they can convert these challenges into opportunities. So we hear a lot about digital transformation. We've spoken the last couple episodes all about it from different perspectives. But from the CEO's chair, why is it that so many CEOs today are embracing digital transformation? So digital transformation has become the fact of life. You know, you cannot live without it. Not only you need to have a plan around digital transformation, but you need to start implementing it. And for a lot of CEOs, it's the biggest disruption that they have seen in their lifetime, you know, out there. And especially in banks and FIs. And uh, for them, you know, they have to act fast. They have to act in a decisive manner. They still have to protect their existing businesses uh, while they have to transform their businesses. So, so I would say it's the biggest uh, opportunity that they have, but at the same point of time, also the biggest challenge that they've ever faced in their careers. And most of the bank and FI CEOs, they're not native digital. Tell us a little bit about the pressures that might be driving CEOs to take on a digital transformation. So right now, what is happening is that, you know, there's a tremendous amount of move towards digital. A lot of that push is coming from consumers. A a lot of that push is coming from uh, other players in the markets, you know, like the telecom players and, you know, people, more and more people are using smartphones. Internet is getting cheaper, faster, and especially with 5G rolling out, you know, soon, that's going to transform. Uh, financial services industry because it's it will be like a supercomputer in, in hand of every single consumer and their expectation is increasing every day there's a war for uh, say ideas right ideas how do you lead a digital transformation and there is also a war for capturing market share in a new way so i think this this becomes extremely critical now for ceos to you know really live and breathe digital What's the number one pitfall that a CEO could run into as they're starting this process in their organization? So bank CEOs are being driven by three big trends right now. You know, the first is the open banking, spread of open banking is happening. It started in Europe, now going into Australia, Canada, you know, in Asia, there's a lot of conversations happening. Uh, The setup of digital banks, you know, which is now happening in Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia is going to issue new licenses, the rest of Asia is happening. So Asia is far ahead in digital bank space. While in UK, quite a few digital banks have been set up. The, the, scale, or, the scale and the power of digital banks coming in Asia are just breathtaking. So I think that's going to change the whole industry. And then the third is, you know, rollout of 5G. And that means more power in the hand of consumers. The role of the CEO is getting more and more difficult. Tenure is down. We, we know the big trends, right? How is it that a a CEO leading a bank can play the right role in transforming their organization this way? Yeah, so what's starting to happen is there is a big convergence happening between financial services and technology. So a lot of CEOs who are leading FIs and banks come from financial services background, but they need to also retool themselves and also learn the intricacies of technology, risk management, data science, all that stuff. Yeah, there are a few things, you know, that they have to uh, follow, you know, to be successful. One, obviously, is that they have to turn themselves native digital. Digital is not just another channel. Secondly, they have to mobilize their employee base and everybody and actually hire right kind of people. You know, that's very important and motivate right kind of people. The third is they have to take their shareholders and investors in confidence because it's going to be a long, bumpy ride. A lot of upfront investments will be required. Everything will not work, you know, so so, so the tolerance or failure has to be a lot higher. And the fourth thing is speed, you know, speed is important. Banks are used to multi-year, multi-million dollar IT implementations, and this is very different from that. This is like, like you have to be quick, you have to be agile, you have to get stuff done, and you have to be very smart about, you know, uh, while you have to spend money upfront, but how you control that, do a lot of experiments, run with it, learn, and keep investing. My take is that the banks which are going to digitally transform them themselves over the next 10 years are the one which will be led by visionary CEOs who are willing to embrace going native digital, uh, willing to take risks, willing to experiment and willing to keep investing. Mm-hmm.